Chào cả nhà. Hello guys. I am Nina Chan Lee. Welcome to So Sim Yum Kitchen. This is where I prepare food that touches my family so it's simple to make and yummy to eat. So if you have the same interest, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Two weeks ago, I have shared with you how to cut down on the prep and cook times by taking advantage of my Vietnamese sweet and sour dipping sauce. You can click on the symbol I above or the link listed in the description box below to that video. Anyway, today I'm going to share with you how to make a Vietnamese three-course meal in 30 minutes or less. They are braised salty trifles, fried eggs with onions, and purple yam soup with dry shrimps. Each of this dish can be prepared with simple ingredients and cooking steps. All of these dishes are rice killer food, so cook up a big pot of steamed rice and enjoy a super duper tasty comfort meal with your family. My Vietnamese sweet and sour dipping sauce has been in the refrigerator for more than two weeks now, but the aroma is still so fresh and the taste is still so so good. The umami flavor of this dipping sauce is so superior that it turns every ingredient into tasty food. You can click on the eye symbol above or the link listed below in the description box to my Vietnamese sweet and sour dipping sauce recipe. To make my house smell amazing when cooking with fish sauce, I always turn on the red hood and light up all my scented candles. Anyway, shall we get started on today's menu? Here are the main ingredients for today's menu. These are the salty dry yellow cocos. They can be purchased at Asian market, especially at Korean markets. You can also use other dry fishes or even fresh skin on salmon. A braised salty dry fish will need sweet and sour dipping sauce to balance out the salty flavor of the fish. For the purple yam soup with dry shrimps, we have here the purple yam. This is how it looks with the skin still on. We can substitute okra, frozen or fresh, and tomato for the purple yam. Today, I am going to use dry shrimp for the purple yam soup, but you can also use fresh shrimps or ground pork. To add more protein for the kids, I also make fried eggs. Here we have six eggs. I also add croquettes in the five eggs, although they are optional. We will use green onion to garnish all three dishes. Anyway, let's prep these ingredients. First, we need to rinse the dry fish and shrimps. After that, we wash and prep the vegetable. We will need a sharp spoon to slide the purple yam. We will slide as much as we can until we reach the end of the purple yam. When it is too small to slide, we can use the clever knife to finish the rest by mashing them like this.
The yummiest way to eat steamed rice is to mix them into this leftover braised sauce. You can add one or two bowls of steamed rice into the pan with the leftover sauce and give them a good stir. Mr. Farm and the kids really enjoy eating their steamed rice this way and it is super duper tasty. Thank you. 
Right, check this out. This is what I call comfort food as its best. Okay, let's give this a try. My happy, he will eat a lot of steamed rice with this dish. Okay, let's try it. Oh my goodness. Mm. I'll tell you. The my sweet and sour dipping sauce is really is the bomb because the sauce is so good that it makes everything taste so good. This this right here, oh my goodness. It's salty, sweet, sour. A little bit spicy, a little bit spicy. Oh my goodness, it's so so good. I know my hubby gonna have a good dinner tonight. Mmm, <laughs> yum. I'm gonna try this one too, okay? The egg, the way that I that I show you guys do, is crispy on the back but it's still soft in the inside. So, mmm, so good. My kid I'm going to love this egg today. Mmm, yum. Try this um, soup. I, I like this consistency. I don't like too thick. Um, and I don't like too runny either. So this consistency is, is perfect. Mm. My goodness, they are so good. This one right here is the one that we um, Remember the leftover um, braised sauce in the pan and then I add the steamed rice into it? I'm going to save this for my kids. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. I would also like to give a shout out to everyone kind comments on my videos. They are very precious and make me smile after reading them. Thank you so much for watching guys and happy cooking for your loved ones. See you guys next time. Chào cả nhà nha.